Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss surface marking of the pleura. Here, I discuss the surface marking of cervical pleura, anterior border, inferior border, and posterior border, and its clinical importance. The surface marking of the cervical pleura, first point at the sternoclavicular joint, second point at the junction of the medial one-third and lateral two-third of the clavicle, third point two to three centimeter above the medial third of the clavicle into the neck. Join this line by a curved line. To understand the surface marking of the cervical pleura is crucial for avoiding complications such as pneumothorax or hemothorax Accurate knowledge prevent the pleural injury during mesial posterior like central line placement and neck surgery. Anterior border. The anterior border surface anatomy is different from the right side to left side. In the right side, first point 2 to 3 cm above from the medial two third of the clavicle and second point at the sternoclavicular joint third point at the middle of the sternal angle, fourth point, six coastal cartilage. Join this line by a curved line touching the middle of the sternum. The left side, left side first point at the two to three centimeter above the middle one third of the clavicle, second point at the sternoclavicular joint, third point at the middle of the sternal angle, fourth point at the fourth coastal cartilage, fifth point at the sixth coastal cartilage. Join first, second, third and fourth line by a curved line touching middle of the sternum. The fourth and fifth line is joined by outward curved line along the lateral border of the sternum. Understanding the surface marking of the anterior border of the pleura is crucial to avoid over puncturing during a sternal puncture. This knowledge helps prevent pleural injury or complication like pneumothorax or hemothorax. Inferior border. The first point, six coastal cartilage. The second point is the eight rib in the mid clavicular line, third point the tenth rib in the mid axillary line and fourth point at the twelfth rib at the paravertebral line. The pleura descends slightly below the twelfth rib at its medial extremity or even below the 11th rib if the 12th rib is short. This position increases the risk of accidentally opening the pleural pleura during procedure like marking a loin incision to expose the kidney, performing an adenectomy or draining a subphrenic abscess. The posterior border. Posterior border extends from the 12th rib to 1st rib and this point is situated just lateral to the spinous process of thoracic vertebra. The posterior border is in the internally is related with the costovertebral joint. The knowledge of the surface marking of the posterior border is averting pleural injury during mesial procedure like thoracic epidural anesthesia and spinal surgery and posterior rib resection. So this is all about the surface marking of the pleura. If you find this video helpful, please share this video, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching and if any question you have, you can um, do ask in, in the comment section. Thank you for watching.